Listening to this crowd, you never know that the revolution which began here two months ago sent a dictator into exile and spread across the Middle East. Down, down with the dictator, they chant. As far as the protesters in Kasba Square are concerned, the old regime still hasn't got the message. They don't change nothing. In two months, they, they, they don't change nothing. And the potential for violence is on a knife edge. Without warning, a shot rang out. Soldiers pushed into the crowd and grabbed a man. Some said he had a knife, others a gun. Protesters claim supporters of the regime use a $60,000 slush fund to pay thugs to foment violence. In this case, it was a nervous trigger finger away. It didn't go that well over the weekend. At least five people were killed in violent clashes in the capital's central business district. The tension in flashpoint areas is palpable. Plainclothes police who make little or no attempt to hide what they are routinely grab and search young men and try to prevent us from filming even the most ordinary activities. Evidence of the violence was still being cleaned up today. Now the street is cut in half by razor wire and guarded at either end by armored personnel carriers. Not even the resignation of the interim prime minister who said there was a conspiracy to undermine the revolution was enough to satisfy the protesters. They insist the entire government must go, along with corrupt businessmen who profited from it. They have a lot to lose with this new uh, revolution. For them, their uh, privilege will be lost. The fact that the revolution seems to have only just begun is a warning to other leaders facing the same resistance. A few concessions won't do. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Tunis.